Hello, everybody. Greetings. Up, oh, sorry, I have. However, you say evening in German. Uh, I had I had desktop audio muted. <laughs> Whoopsies, whoopsie doodle. Um, yeah. So welcome, welcome one, welcome all. Um, oh God. Okay, so day. There's another. It's another wonderful fishing session. Uh, we have a lot of the old. We have a lot of the crew from our previous fishing session here, um, and we're gonna have one more person uh, come on in and and at themselves wait am i hearing music i don't hear music I don't. oh my win amp's still running because i had it at like one percent that was <laughs> it, made, <laughs> it genuinely oh, it genuinely felt like i was losing my mind i'm gonna bro be is, real bro is using win amp i'm of course i'm using wait what's 24 hell yeah i've been using it <laughs> come on if, if they're my my old man moment of like Music apps I refuse to change is or app you know things I refuse to change in my life is Winamp. I'm using. I like Winamp. I like. I, I love Winamp. Yeah, Winamp's good. I'm still using the two X skin. I've been using the Show same Winamp skin. Yeah, I've used the same skin <laughs> since it came out, dude. <laughs> it came. You know, they they were like Winamp three, and they had this future skin that kind of looked like Windows Media Player. I was like, fuck that shit. Where is my classic skin? You ever and just then... full screen the visualizer? No. I would, oh <laughs> yeah. my god. Oh, and in the Windows Media Player? Oh, absolutely. That was I love the Windows Media Player visualizer. Oh my Oh my god. That the when, future future is now. When I was young, I would like full screen that and then I would mm -hmm. take my mouse and I would pretend that my cursor was dodging lines. Oh. And I made it into like a little game. So a little little baby Masse was sitting there. And I don't want to think about how many hours I spent just doing that. I was very easily entertained. High score. <laughs> Brett still uses Limeware, I bet. Well, Brett doesn't pirate anything. So you got you don't so that's not a thing. Bro, but you can download yeah. Limewire oh, Bro, an executable with file. <laughs> but in my youth, I was definitely a Napster kit. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> But I think I think we all were uh, once Do upon a time. Do you remember the first mm. song you've ever downloaded off Napster? Because I remember mine. Oh, I don't. Well, it I don't. It was a low quality <laughs> MP3 of MC Hammer can't touch this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it would have either been I was downloading video game MP3s once I found out that was a thing. I was like, God damn! So it was either. Final Fantasy IX or Vagrant Story. It was one of the two. Those are those are the things that mm. that have popped up. And then when Napster went away, because we were like, "What do you mean we can't just download stuff?" It was <laughs> Napster was the best because I think everyone was quote unquote pirating because no one really knew the concept of being a pirate. I mean, yeah, the concept of downloading mm. music online wasn't really a thing. It wasn't a thing. Yeah, so you were just doing it. You're like, so okay, like, that's great. Yeah, you're just like, oh, all my favorite songs online for free. <laughs> the yeah. Just on the internet. The I future. Didn't really think about yeah, it. Yeah, that's what it was. It's like it, the radio, but I have control. I was, <laughs> I was like, oh, the future is now. This is what it is. And then they shut down Napster, and I was addicted. And so I definitely after that was uh, I downloaded Ka uh, Ka was it uh, Kaza or Kaza, Kaza yeah. or Kaza. however the hell you say it. Mm. Yeah, I was, I was a Kaza kid. That I definitely was. I never touched LimeWire. Not at I one remember time. using LimeWire to download LimeWire Pro. Oh <laughs> my! I heard about that. That mm. it was like they, made, they tried to make a premium version of LimeWire that had faster downloads, but because it was a piracy software, people just pirated <laughs> LimeWire Pro Amazing. with <laughs> LimeWire. <laughs> no sympathy. No sympathy whatsoever. Napster uh, still exists, but it's a it's a service now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, everyone is at seven hundred XP. Well, first let's Ooh. go. Let's go ahead and get some. Well. <laughs> Besides Esmer, who's about to be walking into these series here in a second. Hmm? Gonna have a bad time. Um, speaking of bad times, Esmer, I have reset everything. So uh, let me see what wealth you have, because I'm about to take it all away from you. Uh, um, your eight golds, it <laughs> becomes ten golds. 
And that's <laughs> it. So you got a net positive two gold. That's All right. pretty awesome. Slick. Um, I'm a, <laughs> wait a second. And all of Esmer's experiences still carry over. So on the road here, you found two gold in the road and you still have treasure PTSD. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Oh, oh, uh, oh, Brandon has a drain crawler Pleco. That's awesome. That's amazing. Oh. Look at you, Brandon. Wow. Okay, so before we get started, um, we're going to go ahead and level everyone up so that maybe you guys will get some some improvements to your fishing ability. We'll We'll see. Uh, so we'll start with Cobb. Cobb, you are a level two. Um, would you like to roll or take the? Or actually, no, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and roll a one d eight for me. Yeah, of course I'm gonna roll. We gotta keep this uh, failure train a moving. Oh, don't two. say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hey, you'll be nice one. So you'll be taking the average. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. But what if I want the two? I, if you want the two, I will happily give you the two. I want the two. Understood. In that case, let's see. What's your con? I demand the two. All right. So you, uh, your hit points, instead of becoming 15, are now 12. Just real yep. <laughs> real gamer move right here. I really Man. like that. You know what? I respect it. I do yeah. respect it. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, is this just a... It's is just a... Uh, uh, I can't remember your... I've been having so much trouble remembering character names. The... Uh, me too, man. I, I feel that. I absolutely feel that. Are you talking about like a hardcore experience, like in, in the oh, hardcore? No, I, games? I was saying it's just it's just a uh, uh, par for the course for uh, for for this guy, right? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, you did get jack of all trades though, Ooh. which I don't think is going to help you in your fishing. Master of none. <laughs> jack of all <laughs> trades. <laughs> Oh, I love it. All right. So uh, we got that. You got Song of Rest. Nice. So there you go. Okay. And that's it. 12 hit. Po you're at 12 hit points. You still get the plus two and you're good to go. So yeah, where did the light in here go? Was oh, Brynjar left. Of... I think oh, Brynjar had the light. The <laughs> oh. So you guys I've are in the... Plunged into darkness. <laughs> yeah, you guys are in the you dark might, right you now. You might want to take the light cantrip. <laughs> you did learn a new spell. Uh, I you do, do have uh, dancing, dancing lights. lights. You do have dancing lights, yeah. Um. So, But first, before we go through all that, let's finish everyone's leveling yeah. up. Cajun Pete. Uh, let's go ahead and get you leveled up. Rogue, level two. Uh, Cajun Beat, go and give me a D8 roll, please. Seven. We'll take that seven. God oh, damn. that's just phenomenal. You also got cunning action. So you, congratulations, you're, uh, you're a rogue now. That's great. Okay, so you're at 17 hit points. Pretty cool. Um... I just realized Brandon waddled in the sewer and said, hey, what's up, everyone? And then got the same experience as everybody. And that's OK, because <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to divvy it up like that. So we're good to go. So uh, Brandon is now a level uh, a level two bard. So uh, Laura, why don't you give me a 1d8 hit a hit point roll and we'll see how many hit points you get. Six. That's better than five, so we'll give it to you. You got Jack of All Trades as well as um, Song of Rest. So good news. Oh, my God. I just realized Brandon's rocking a zero to survival. That's awesome. Okay. And then I'm doing this. Jack of All Trades. Half proficient. Very good. And I guess a plus one for proficiency, technically. And since you're a fly fisher, I mean that's a that's a I would consider that an upgrade. Very good. Okay, you've you, your level up is complete. Uh, Dredger, also a rogue. Uh, go ahead and uh, tomato. Give me a one d eight roll, please. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, baby. Cutting action. Seventeen hit points. We like to see it. And that's it. Fastest level up of the West. <laughs> and then Granny Cashew. <laughs> oh. Would you like to take the average? Yes. All right. Granny doesn't have that much life left. She needs all she can get. 
<laughs> so many bards in the party. Wow. Oh, you'll outlive us all, Granny. Uh. Why are you... Uh, wait. If the advancement process... Uh, continue. I don't know why that was said, but okay. Continue. Stop advancement. Okay. I think... I think we've got everything. Oh, yeah. There it is. <clears throat> Let me get you your 17 hit points, and then we're good to go. All right. So, uh, so how are we going to handle the fishing session today is uh, you guys are going to continue on. It's three in the afternoon. Uh, you guys have been fishing in the sewer and kind of like continuing on with this. Uh, since Brynjar and Coco left, your light source, unfortunately, has uh, evaporated away. Would anyone like to light a torch or cast a light spell before continuing on? Mm. Don't everyone... I have none of those things. I don't yeah. have that trash. <laughs> light that trash on fire. Uh, I, I have I have a torch, but uh, but uh, Cajun Pete doesn't realize that the lights are out because I'm pretty sure I got dark. I can still see, so I'm, apparently I've got dark vision. Only um, played characters in my life with dark vision. <laughs> I don't live like you poor human bastards that have to live here in the dark. Sorry. I'm just an old lady, dude. Or maybe not. I don't see I don't see dark vision on my features, but I can still see. Uh yeah, so what you're currently seeing are the torches that are lit up around the area. You in fact do not have dark vision. Okay. So you are actually standing in the dark. And now from the distance, you see the torches that are lit within this, uh, within these sewers. You do have a torch if you would like to light one. I will. I will <laughs> light a torch. Okay. <laughs> the hesitation. I was like, yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm wondering if Cajun Pete would even like realize, you know? Well, I think he would once he, once he realized he's in pitch black, can't see his hands, doesn't even know where to cast. So, True. so I would, I would like to believe that. All right, let me go ahead and and light you up, and just kind of, oh, perfect. <laughs> With that, uh, you will see. Let me go ahead and get everyone's view over here. Um, Esmer, hmm. you are. Oh, sorry, Esmer, because of Ooh. your mental break. You're actually level one now. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, all right, all right okay, okay. Uh, Esmer, uh, you've come wandering in here because you've heard. Uh, well, uh, let me ask some questions because Esmer, from a from a character development standpoint, uh, mm. definitely was kind of going through it. Um, is Esmer still what? kind of? Is Esmer still kind of in the the worst of it right now? Is he still pursuing the route of of dredging, or has uh, he kind of subsided a little bit? Oh, still he's dredging. dredging. Yeah, okay. I think he's a little more stable now, though, and um, he's just kind of like carefree about the situation. And Excellent. He's just gonna do his thing. Okay, so um, as a dredger, give me one second. Oh, so this guy's dredging. <laughs> I mean, well, he's you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't know yet. Level you know. one is dredging. Yeah, you don't know yet. You don't spot. You don't know yet. You don't know yet. You just, well, you haven't seen any dredging happen. But, Better have uh, some good stealth checks out there. I right, level one. <laughs> oh yeah. Sure. Uh, which which of you are still fishing? Uh oh. I don't I'm think any fishing. of you are. I don't no, think any of you are. No. Oh my! Wait, maybe maybe Brynjar is was no. He was also noodling. God damn. Okay, let, I, I, let me go. Give me a second. Cause I need to add. Whoop. Um. Oh yeah, because you were an arcane fisher. That's right. So now you are an enchanting fisher. Which will use your spell casting modifier, which is intelligence. So enchanting fishing. Let me oh. go ahead. Let me go ahead and change this up. And kinda ooh, I like that. There we go. And then your mod will be uh intelligence-based. Very cool. 
All right, so you now have enchanting fishing in your inventory. So when you are dredging, uh, just so you are aware, Esmer, mm -hmm. you will still do an enchanting fishing as normal. The only thing that has changed at this point will be what you can actually get. And for 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 dredging specifically to dredge, uh, hold on, let me go ahead and then might help if I have the book open Lamau. you know how it is let's see two let me go and go through the pdf and using my bookmarks that are within because it's just that easy when you have this book winks at chat uh oh, you'll be doing yes fishing styles and then dredge all right so you are considering novice dredger what that means is fishing table rolls with the result of 36 through 80 uh will yield junk otherwise you don't catch anything whenever you decide to take up the dredge uh would you like me to assume that you are dredging by default esmer yes okay and as in fact, he traded in his his rod for for a, a magnet tool for a dredging yeah. tool specifically mm -hmm. to dredge. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we shall continue the scene then uh, as you'll kind of watch as Cajun Pete lights up the torch. <laughs> you'll see uh, from behind within the darkness itself, this sort of old man. You see, Esmer. Uh, you have you have you have uh, been inquiring specifically about dredging that may need to be done. Um, the town um, sp is saying that oh you know we could use as many dredgers as we can. In fact, you know we've already h hired uh, a, a dredger, but we we could definitely use more. Um, if you'd like to go ahead and look for something to to try and and clean up the, the this area. Uh, head on down over to the sewers. Any junk that you catch that has no value, we will be more than happy uh, to pay a, a, an entire copper piece for each junk piece of junk you have dredged out of the uh, out of the sewer system. And so, with that, uh, you have uh, entered uh, within, and you kind of wandered in. And Cajun Pete, you, you, I saw you turn around, so you will uh, take note of Esmer, who is currently walking into the sewers and the stage is yours oh oh hello there uh, hello granny asma is oh. that you it's it is i it's been so long i feel oh it has been so long oh what an interesting place to run into you i would i didn't expect it myself as you hello, brandon as you Hello. look look around to everyone, their lines cast and through, you will notice a rather large man. Instead of casting a fishing rod, uh, they will be casting in a uh, a dredger's magnet, much like what you are currently using. You recognize this individual, this bugbear, as you have met him once before in a fishing journey long, long ago. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Brandon, uh, Pete was it, uh, and um, ah, the dredger. Hello. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, how are you all faring? Do you want some of this bread? Well, of course. He'll it always tastes better when you're eating in the sewer. <laughs> well, <laughs> what? It's like a picnic. <laughs> But uh, underground. I suppose I'll take your word for it. He'll uh, eat some of the bread. Is it just normal bread? Yeah. Dirt bread. Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> normal wow. dirt bread, you know. It's, mm, it's a unique, unique taste there. Mm. I'll hold on to this for the for later. <laughs> okay. In the meantime. Hmm. You'll oh. approach the sewer. Hello <laughs> over there. Brett. Yes. 
While he was walking by, I want to do a perception check to look for his fishing rod. <laughs> okay, yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and make a perception check, please. Cool. Good. Here we go. That's a seven. Um, I will say that you don't spot it, but also you're seething with rage all the time. There's a possibility you may have missed it. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's not particularly hiding it, but it is. it would be under his robe, so... Oh, no, he's specifically okay. looking to see if you have a fishing rod. He definitely yeah, yeah. notices the magnet. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I noticed the magnet. Oh, um, hmm. So it's under your robe, you said? With a, yeah, yeah. With a seven perception, I'll say no, you do not. Okay. So you're, you're not really sure what this this old man is fishing with. Esmer, as you uh, approach Cobb, you will see he has an uncharacteristic frown across his face. Oh, is everything all right? Fish have been putting me through the ringer lately. Mm. I ain't biting like they used to. It's plain curse. But I'm gonna fish all the way to the bottom. <laughs> mm. Um, you will also notice as you approach as a seasoned spellcaster, uh, that the <laughs> he's wearing a hat of disguise and the frown is actually an illusion. Hmm. He'll take note, but not say anything specifically towards that. Um, I, too, have shared my my failures in fishing. So I've moved on now and uh, I will attempt to Dredge up whatever I can. Bacon the oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's not saying anything. He's just getting <laughs> mind you now. I'll be careful talk about dredging around here is what I'd be telling you. Uh Cypher, just so you know, you are quiet and you're cutting out. You might have uh, a Okay, you... might have my noise gate on. Yeah. Just oh. FYI. Well, well, thank you. I, I, I will certainly heed caution as I dredge. <laughs> Go on, then. Yeah. Go on, then, and dredge. Hmm? Yeah, go oh. on, then. Uh, do, do you have uh, perhaps advice for me? No, I don't got no advice. You ain't already heard at the last town. Now go on now and dredge. <laughs> oh, very well, then. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, uh, he'll breathing down his neck go ahead dredge dredge do it let's we'll see it oh my god uh, Asmer's gonna dredge I okay. will say this you do want to fail this dredge <laughs> <laughs> you do not want a 37 through 77 or whatever so uh, well, that's the best time to start. Uh, we are at the next hour. Everyone's within the initiative order. And look at that. Esmer is on the top of the initiative. So. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> uh, Esmer, go ahead and give me a, uh, one second. We are urban, uh, and I'm going into the urban catch tables. And you guys are currently fishing in the sewers. So. Uh, not that it matters, but, uh, well, it actually kind of does for this. Okay, Esmer, I know it's been a minute, but go ahead and give me a, first of all, a 1D100 roll. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, fortunately for you, uh, this hour will be fruitless uh i need to ask the dredger specifically um yeah. are you dredging or are you spending this next hour just breathing down esmer's neck oh the dredger has stopped dredging okay <laughs> he is he is watching this old man now so because this is this is unbelievable even to him uh, so that a dredger would dare approach the sewers he's dredging and to dredge as competition <laughs> So, um, a 16 this hour will not yield anything for Esmer. Oh, well. Perhaps you'll have better luck. Are you? You don't seem like you're... 
doing much. But... Well, I'm on break. Oh, I enjoy your rest then. What's this? What is the treasurer's demeanor? He's he's like looming. He's looming right now yeah, over him. He he's breathing out of his mouth in a kind of audible way, like a <laughs> <laughs> like this kind of like breathing to it, and it's like on the back of your neck, and he's like just staring straight at the back of your head, and his fingers are kind of twitching. <laughs> Uh, fan artists, you uh, you got the cue. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right. So Esmer, uh, no catch today, but maybe Cobb will fare better. Cobb. Well, it's a big maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see your 1D100 roll, please. Okay. 100... Oh, that, I just said. Nice, nice. I just said, okay. We're off to a great start roll today. Classic Cobb. <laughs> roll one D100. <laughs> okay, okay. It fit the 53, no, so right bad. down the middle. All right. Uh, so while this interaction is going on and you kind of just hear audible breathing next to you, Cobb, and you're kind of watching his Esmer's trying to drop the magnet in, pull it up, drop, pull it up, not really be, get anything. Uh, you will feel uh, the slightest nibble at the end of your line. So go ahead and All give right. me a fishing check. I believe you're fly fishing, correct? Uh, enchanted fishing. Enchanted fishing, there it is. 23. Oh, baby. God damn, what was that roll? That was an 18 roll. Well, oh, God. Things are looking up for you. It uh, might be my day now that Brynjar is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Sucked all my I luck away. Is it <laughs> Brynjar. Luck siphon. Brynjar's pin. Yeah, there it is. Uh, you will catch uh, upon the end of your line with a very simple pull, another drain crawler pleco. You know, those bottom feeders that uh, eat away at the uh, the algae and the and the and kind of the trash that exists within these sewers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kind yeah, of, yeah. I take the fish, I uh, stick it onto my thumb, and I keep fishing. Uh, yes, and you'll watch <laughs> as you already have a. You, this is your second pleco. Do you have two plecos on two different fingers? Uh, I think was it the other one like. Was it the other one like from a, a long time ago? No, no. The drain crawler pleco is a fish that you can catch specifically. In this environment so you would have actually oh, okay. you would have actually caught it last time then yeah i put i put one on my thumb and then one on one one in my hat and all you, yeah all you just hear is <laughs> <laughs> god all right so so far so good uh one fail but one catch cajun pete would you do me the honors to cast me the line 1d 100 please sticking my arm in the water yep Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're doodling. Ooh, um, you. Oh, my God. Uh, you will feel something kind of wrap around your arm and it's slimy and it's kind of pulling at you right now. You I like... don't think I'm grabbing a scramp this time. Go ahead and give me a, uh, a, a, a noodling roll. Hmm, that is a successful catch. So you kind of feel this sort of slimy, this sl the slimy wrap that's kind of squeezing around your screaming, like squeezing around your arm. And as you go in and then just kind of pull your arm, um, your arm out you will pull a sludge eater eel. This oh, well, look this, what we got here. This dark purple sewer fish feeds off of the slime and the offal that gathers within the sewer canals, acting as a sort of natural cleaning system. Its numbers are maintained by local sewer workers who deploy them for their ability to feed off of a wide amounts of sewage buildup. Uh, this is the eel that you saw, or maybe did not, uh, the dredger kind of strangle and throw <laughs> into the, against the back wall. Esmer, you will now take note of a, uh, corpse of an eel that is just kind of been discarded over here at the corner. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, well, with the dredge I haven't thrown the other one, I, I can't really mess with the ecosystem too much if it's keeping it clean. Back you go, little buddy. I'm just going to release the eel back into the water. All right, the eel is released. Uh, Give me one quick second. I forgot we're, we're tracking the XP for this one. Uh, So uh, how much we got? OK, two experience points five experience points and for Ooh. releasing the eel uh it's 10 percent. so that's just i'm gonna round it up to a nice clean one xp very nice, nice. very nice <laughs> I, I didn't realize there could be more than one of you is do you do, do you dredges got a good union <laughs> oh uh, i'm a new no. dredger so. <laughs> <laughs> damn no union uh, yeah, not that I'm aware of anyway. Might be good to look into. Uh, how, uh, how 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 are the hours? When I'm not trying to find scrimp, I could probably go for a side job. Oh, uh, I'm merely dredging for fun. Okay, the, the, but did they give you any sort of like any sort of like like compensation for it? Do you get dental? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Simply a uh, one copper for a piece of junk, as far as I am aware. You get like you get a few pieces of junk. That's a decent meal for the day. All right. Yeah, don't start getting no thoughts in your heads about it now. Oh, why not? <laughs> Dangerous job, dredging. Uh, Seems like missing. it'd be safer than fishing, since you bring up a fish, it could slap you across the I face. I have no idea the things you can pull out of the water. Things that don't want to be found. Mm -mm. Maybe I'll just stick to shrimp. Yeah, maybe you ought to. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, Granny, you're up. Uh, I think Granny would have at some point waddled over to Esmer for some old people chit chat. <laughs> you look well, Esmer. You were in quite a state the last time I saw you. It's good to see. Uh, uh, simply needed a few moments to think things out. Oh my god. Holy natural. Whoa. Okay. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, well. Treasure, uh, use the help action! <laughs> I suppose it <laughs> And then he just something He's just far too distracted. <laughs> yeah, something just immediately like pulls. Uh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh wait. Okay, well let's uh, let's let's get to it then. Jesus Christ! The big. Oh no! Okay, it's time. Hmm. Okay, so something is definitely pulling you into the water. This this oh. is a, a massive fish. Ooh. Go ahead and give me a fishing check. Oh, it's pulling very hard. That's oh my a, god! That oh. is a success. You begin reeling this thing in, but it is just the beginning of this fight. Uh, go ahead and give me another check. That... Is, is a failed check and unfortunately the only failure that is can be allotted to this catch so <laughs> you've got another check and we better see a success with this one uh, can i use bardic inspiration on their fishing check uh yeah go for it <gasps> bless you take a uh, extra five wow <laughs> bless you to whatever you want <laughs> Oh, Fake off, bad. dude. Are you uh, serious? Uh, you get pulled in. <laughs> and with a <laughs> yeah, with a Granny, nat, no. Oh, no. With a nat one, uh, <laughs> your arms give out and you just like you just immediately your full body falls oh. in. Oh no. Oh, oh, no. Uh, she's paddling. <laughs> oh, she, she she's flailing a little bit. Um, for granny. Oh, All right, that so was such a tough. Oh, we're not done yet. So for this oh. one, we're definitely gonna go in initiative order because um oh. just as you oh, spl great. yeah, just as you splash in, um, you begin to feel something pulling at you. Uh -oh. Um and you will see that the system, the little vortex system that was kind of activated over here uh by 
Cobb wasn't a one-time deal. It's on a timer, and it decides right at this moment to turn back on. <laughs> and now you are now swirling uh. around here. So we'll uh, actually go in initiative order here. Esmer, Brandy has fallen in. What do you do? Hmm. I think Esmer would do his best to just kind of stay on the on the edge and reach. Granny, give me your hand. I can't reach you. Um, Granny, go ahead and see. We're gonna see if the vortex actually brings you closer to shore to get pulled up. Uh, I need okay. a fate roll, please. One d twenty. Oh no. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Oh, it does. So Ooh. the next oh. thing I need. <laughs> this is the fun part. I need an athletics check from Esmer. Heck yeah. Uh, yes. It just slips out as Granny oh, continues oh, to no. be pulled. Oh no. All right, Cobb, it's you're up. Is, are you doing anything? Uh, that's what we got in here. <laughs> I'm still fishing. Oh, I just got five candles. No, that's not going to do anything. Um. I'm not a strong swimmer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to stick my loot into the water so Granny can grab into onto it. Okay, so uh, for that, we're gonna need an athletics check from Granny. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! I'm pretty sure that's my dump stat. <laughs> Your rolls are better than mine. Uh, okay. Just, anyway. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you oh. go to grab the loot, your wet hand slips off, and you are still <laughs> going. <laughs> I'm going astray! Uh, Cobb! Your body at the bottom of the sewer. Help! <laughs> uh, Cobb. Yeah. Or not Cobb, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Pete. Yep. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, KGP is going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, and then are they, these are steps right here, right? Yes. Uh, am I able to tell if, if I step down there, I'll get pulled away by the current? Uh, your body will still be mostly unsubmerged, so you, you will be fine. Okay, I step down to here and I throw Granny my rope. Okay. Ooh, Ooh here we go. Ooh. So you toss the rope. I like where this is going. Granny, once again, I will need an athletics check from you. <gasps> oh no! You just toss, oh, no. As you go to do, uh, <laughs> as you go to toss the rope, unfortunately, it just slips out of your hands, and you get pulled along. Oh, <laughs> All right, Plan B. <laughs> well, now it's Granny's turn. Granny, you got something that's gonna get well, you still, out of this. I, I still have five feet of movement. Oh, you're gonna jump. Well, your action's been used, so if you're going in, are you jumping in? Yeah, I got uh, like the, the 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 thing. I gotta make sure I can get close to Granny. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Go ahead and give me an athletics check. Uh, athletics. Okay. Oh. Ooh. All right. So you're you're going along with the current. You're kind of swimming along with Granny. Uh, Granny. Uh, you see uh, Pete approaching you. It is now your turn. What would you like to try and do? She's gonna... God, I have nothing, but um, Granny will s start paddling in the direction of Pete. Okay. She's then, just gonna paddle as hard as her little granny legs can paddle. Then I'm gonna need another athletics check from you. I cannot. Oh, no. No. I'm gonna <laughs> They're drown. Getting worse. <laughs> it's good. They're getting it was worse. nice knowing y'all. Today's yeah. the day Fucking I die. Uh, the dredger, you uh, you attempted anything? Uh, let me ask the dice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me, uh, the dredger has a moment of uh, you know, like that Grinch's heart of compassion. A, bit. a moment yeah. of compassion. <laughs> The dredger <laughs> is trying to think of a way to push this old man in without it looking <laughs> deliberate. It's, it does the, the Grinch's heart thing, except his heart shrinks more. <laughs> He's trying to scope out how to kill him. Right? Like there's a brief moment where it starts to grow and then it just like collapses in on itself and gets smaller. <laughs> All right. Dredger's not doing anything. Brandon, you are our last hope. 
Oh boy. Okay. Brandon <clears throat> says, Granny, I'll save you. And tries to finish the piece of bread. And then <laughs> attempts <remember>. to <laughs> <laughs> then attempts to cast Nothing entangle happened. around her to hold her in place. Ooh. Ooh. All right, the range is 90 feet. So you'll kind of watch as you cast the entangle spell. Uh, go ahead and cast it from your uh, spell sheet, please. So it uses up your spell slot. Yay. All right, Granny, make a strength saving throw. Oh my god. <laughs> you can choose to fail it. <laughs> um, it, For some reason, it won't let me do it. No worries. If you... Let me see where your spells are at. Entangle. Maybe I can uncheck these boxes. Oh, you know what? It, said, oh. it says you already... Yeah, there you go. It said you already used it, but I guess there was no... Oh, you've ne you have never taken a long rest before. That makes sense. Okay, oh. awesome. Uh, so... Um, yeah, you'll go ahead and cast Entangle. You'll kind of watch as the sort of algae and the remnant uh, seaweed that is within this area, since this is a port town, kind of uproots itself from the water. And you'll see it kind of pull right up, uh, Granny, right up against here. Uh, and with the Entangle, it keeps Granny exactly where she needs to be, allowing her to safely get out of the sewer. Oh my god. I almost died in the peaceful campaign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe not died. You would have just seen the end of the sewer system. There's a good chance oh, you'd live. Oh. Hmm. I don't know about that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Pete, you see Granny is okay. Um, you are able to swim back because of your, your amazing athletics if you'd like to. Okay. Granny, I'm assuming you pull yourself up. Yep, she pulls herself up. She looks like a soaked little Persian cat <laughs> through to the bone, and she is she is stinky and she is shivering. Granny, not happy. <laughs> Very good. Very good. All right. So with that, the uh, gra Granny's turn is done. <laughs> <laughs> Granny's oh my gosh. fishing oh turn my is God. done. Uh, so next up is the dredger. I think I uh, opted not to take my turn. Oh, that's right. Oh, my God. Okay. And then finally, uh, Brandon. <laughs> Crisis averted. Can Brandon tell that the dredger is sketchy? Uh, you can make an insight check if you'd like. Okay. Um, I'm assuming the dredger really isn't hiding the sketchiness. Just seems like a nice guy. Just seems like a... Nice uh, yeah. <laughs> looks like he's worried about this old man. <laughs> it seems like a nice guy with a breathing problem. Like yeah. Yeah. He's got asthma. You should get that asthma check, dude. Yeah, you're, you're kind of watching as the dredger is watching Esmer dredge. He, he must be, like, like, educating him to, like, teach him the ways of dredging. Brandon looks up at him and says, Hey, mister. What what are you? Huh? What are you? Are you a bear or a bug bear? A bug bear? Like half bug, half bear? I'm a bug bear. Oh. You look like a wrestler to me. And then Brandon turns around <laughs> and <laughs> I just <laughs> and decides to fish, I guess. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and give me a 1d100 roll, please. Oh, boy. 1d100. Oh, okay. B minus. <laughs> That's still good. Um, <laughs> hey, what? All right. Um, yeah, you get, a, you get a bite of the line. So go ahead and give me a fishing check. Uh, it'll be fly fishing in your features. Features. Okay, fly fishing. <clears throat> um, that is a successful reel. You begin reeling in your rod, and whatever's here is is uh is definitely showing up. Um, let me see real quick. Let me read this description of what is is kind of coming up. Oh yeah! So as you are, something's definitely pulling. 
Um, and as you begin to see like the end of your hook, as you're kind of going in and 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 reeling in a little bit, um, and you're, you're you're going in for the pull, uh, you will see that even though you're you're reeling, you're reeling, and something is pulling, all you see is an empty hook. That something definitely feels like it's on the line, but you you can't see anything on the line. And I need you to make another fishing check, please. Okay. You're kind of watching as the hook's kind of like going around back and forth. Um, that check is a fail. So as you, you kind of watch as the hook begins subsiding a little bit, whatever is on the other side of the line is definitely fighting back. It's pulling back deeper. I will need another check from you. I think I got a ghost fish, you guys. And with that, you successfully reel it in. Uh, you you go all in, and as you're reeling it in, you pull the, the hook out from the the sewer. Um, yeah, at the end of the hook is nothing, and you're just watching as it's like jerking around back and forth, um, as if something is definitely there. It's moving around, but all you see is an empty hook. Grandpa, what, what do I do? He holds out like the. <laughs> the line. There's nothing. I think it's a. I think it's a ghost. I think it's a ghost fish. Oh, it it very well may be. Uh, um, but here, let me try and help, and you will know, try and help grab whatever is on the hook. On you the feel line. it, yeah. As you go for the hook, you feel a fit. You feel that what you normally feel a fish within your hand, and as you're holding it, you can kind of barely see the outline. You have oh. caught a phantom biter. This, this fish is the result of an arcane experiment that escaped into the sewers long ago and has thrived there since. It's a source of some of the tallest tales that urban anglers have to tell, and for good reason, it is entirely invisible. An angler who hooks one has the opportunity to glimpse the outline of its form among the muck, algae, or sewage that is gathered on its body. It is gangly tube-shaped with a mouth angled towards the top of its head. Anglers looking for the phantom biter would do well to come prepared with an extra bucket of sewer slime just to be able to coat their catch in something visible. Here, let me try this. Oh, Esmer that, will that, pull. That happened to Granny once. Don't worry, little bud. You win some, you lose some. You'll be able to catch a fish yet. <laughs> Brandon uh, immediately what's... attempts to wrap it around his body. He says, "Did I disappear?" <laughs> Am I still here? <laughs> here. He'll take out a, a what he's got like a bottle of ink and he's gonna take like a smear of it and smear it on the fish so he can oh, keep track of it. There it is. Good idea. There there, and the, and you can easily keep track of the fish now. What in tarnation is that? Some sort of invisible fish. Are you saying it's... that wait, so did Granny actually cat wait? The, fi <laughs> the, fi the fish is the fish is there but it's not what it's a ghost fish mister it, but... I bet it's in not invisible on the inside it's cut but it the, open but the fit what <laughs> holy shit I, I think I owe granny an apology oh <laughs> oh granny. Still <laughs> drenched, camping, yeah. still camping, still drenched, still <laughs> miserable. <laughs> All right, with the next hour approaching, uh, tomato, do you just have to go? I know it's been about an hour. Yeah, the dredger, uh, eyes up and down, as we're one more time, looks at the group. Well, I gotta get on out of here, but um, you all take care now. It's a real crazy world out there. It should. This town ain't big enough for two dredgers. And, uh, <laughs> Thank you for Brett, the help. There's an important detail here. Yes, yes. Uh, when the dredger gets to the edge of the sewer, he's going to lock it behind him. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my yeah, god! Baby. That's mean! <laughs> and then he's going to go on his way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sort of flies to everyone. Thanks for getting out. like great. <laughs> oh my gosh, that, that is an upstanding uh, man of character right there, cleaning up the sewers. <laughs> what a what a gentleman. I just have to imagine just the distant like sound of the great like. <laughs> 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 Holy shit.
Uh, <laughs> and Dredger cool eating his hands. That takes care of that problem. <laughs> it's times like these that I'm glad I went rogue. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the narrative writes itself. Um, I have to use the restroom. So let's go ahead and take a few minute break and then we'll continue with this hour. Sound good? Okay. Very good. All right. We have a Pepsi. Yeah, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. It is currently, well, well, it's currently time. Um, <laughs> if you're not keeping track of time, yeah, I'll let it's you, time. <laughs> I'll, let you, I'll let you know what ends up happening. Uh, okay, so <laughs> Esmer, uh, hmm. what will you will you be continuing your your fishing today? Yes, he will dredge again. All right, let's go ahead and uh, give me a one d one hundred roll, please. All right. Okay. Hey, yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. All, All right. right, go ahead and give me another 1d100 roll. Hmm. Mm-hmm. A 51. Ooh. One moment, please. I'm checking, checking. <gasps> As you kind of like pull in you feel something attached to the end of your dredger's bagman you begin sort of pulling pulling this thing up um and it's not very heavy it definitely something attached to it and it seems light enough as you sort of pull this 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 object out um you will see it appears to be a a scope of some kind that is just completely rusted over as you examine it a little bit more you'll notice that there's a crack um, in the front of the glass of this, and you will see that this is a weathered spyglass. Ooh. Spyglasses are, are, are an interesting thing because they're like the one common item in D&D that's like, oh yeah, this is a thousand gold pieces. Um, what you have, of course, is something uh, especially ancient and completely fully rusted over. Um, this spyglass, you could probably get 10 gold pieces for it. Wow. So that's a that's a good piece of junk that you got there at the end of your line. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, would you look at that? Huh. I'll hold on to this. I'll just stash it in a pocket. You just kind of open up your robe and you just th- yeah. th- thrust it in there. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, next up is going to be Cobb. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> See that one? Deal? Cobb, what, what's what's what? How, How's Cobb feeling right now after watching Granny almost die? The big one's down there. (laughs) (laughs) Disrupting the system. Try to take Granny. (laughs) My God, it can create whirlpools. (laughs) He must be getting closer. All right, let's see it. Ooh, 57. Okay. I'm getting another one of those bottom feet. I don't, <laughs> just, I don't, <laughs> gonna I don't be covered know. in <laughs> yeah. I don't know about all that. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me uh, something's at the end of your line. This one has a little bit of a harder bite than what you had before. So you definitely are catching something a little bit bigger. Go ahead and give me a fishing check, please. Caught a bigger pleco. 14. 14? is sufficient as you Ooh. go and uh, sort of reel up another one of those sludge eater eels. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got, I've just got all the bottom feeders. <laughs> yeah, you're just watching as the plecos mm-hmm. are like suckling at your fingers. You kind of see this thing yep. dangling in there covered in, covered yep. in slime and filth. Yeah, I got one hand on my fishing rod. I got two plecos on my fingers, and I'm wrapping the eel around my wrist. Hell yeah. <laughs> it Dang, feels dude. awful. <laughs> Don't forget, those, those, those eels are important for the ecosystem. And the I'm dredge already of... killed one. <laughs> I'm part of nature now. <laughs> <laughs> it's covered I in am... enough fish to turn into one. <laughs> I am the sewer. Um, <laughs> next up is Cajun Pete. Uh, gonna try. He takes off his hat and rings it out. <laughs> yep. Steps. Uh, steps on up here. How far can I move? 
Oh, you can move. This, this is within the hour, so you're fine to do. Okay. If there's a role play moment you want, you're free. You're free to do it. Yeah, yeah. Gra yeah step over here, Granny. Are, are you are you doing all right, Granny? I'm okay. A little shaken up, but I've mm, been through worse, if not mm, quite that bizarre. But what is, what is a bedroll made out of? Let me see something real quick. Hmm. Never know when you're going to need to sleep, and a bedroll helps you get a better sleep than in, a, than in a hayloft or on a cold ground. A bedroll consists of bedding and a blanket thin enough to be rolled up and tied. In an emergency, it doubles as a, it can double as a stretcher. What? <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm just assuming just like like thin cloth. Okay. Uh, KJP's going to unfurl his uh, his uh, bedroll. Take the blanket out and hand it to Granny to dry herself off. Aww, that's wholesome. She'll she'll take it and she'll smile smile at him. But uh, she's also she's also part mage, so she's gonna prestidigitation herself first, <laughs> but then wrap herself up like a little Granny burrito uh, and get sweet. all nice and toasty. Thank <laughs> you, Pete. I that do appreciate that. That's so kind of you. Please be careful, Granny. We wouldn't want to lose you to the to the tides of the sewer. Aww. Granny is definitely touched, and she smiles warmly at him. I'll be more careful, I promise. Cajun, Cajun Pete's eyes blink individually, and he nods. It's like, and then he uh, kind of hoists himself up and goes, Well, <clears throat> back to it, and sticks his hand in the water. <laughs> sticks his head in the water. <laughs> <laughs> well, why, why not? I'll, yeah, I'll stick my head in the water. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll do with my head. That'd be awesome. All right. Uh, nice yeah. heartwarming moment. And then she just watches him <laughs> dunk his head in the water. <laughs> you you oh. take care of yourself, Granny. Well, they know yeah. you say to use your head, so. <laughs> <laughs> He's bobbing for scrimp. <laughs> All right. Give me a 1D100 roll, please. <gasps> Oh no. Okay, uh, something definitely attaches to your face. Go ahead and give me a one, uh, give me a, 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 a fishing check. A noodling check. Noodling. Ooh, uh, yeah, it's kind of like sucking away at your face and you're kind of moving your head around so it actually gets a little bit tighter around your head. Give me another huh. noodling check. Uh, and with that, uh, it stops moving. And as you sort of just like, lift your head up, uh, you will see a drain water jelly kind of like swallowing his face whole right now. Oh, my goodness. Like that's that slime that you saw that happened to uh, poor Cobb. You're, you're seeing it right now. Uh, oh, my goodness. Pete, Pete. Well, I cannot breathe. I'm out of the water. <laughs> Gr <laughs> Granny Cashew tries to like grab it and pull it off of his face. Uh, <laughs> you do so very easily. Uh, and you have caught a drain water jelly. The strain or strange organism lives exclusively within sewer drainage <laughs> water, feeding off the, the lichen and algae growing within. At first glance, it would appear to be a formless ooze, but there is a more solid structure to the creature. The core of the organism resembles a jellyfish, while the outer gelatinous form is able to reshape itself in order to capture and engulf swaths of sewer algae. It moves through the water via a set of powerful, uh, uh, flag. Oh my god, I can't. Phalanges. Phalanges. It's a, a flagella, <laughs> is, I guess is the plural mm. for it, that are able to sift their way through the thick sewage in which it lives. Oh, this little guy came up and gave me a kiss. I'll give you a good home, fella. He places it right on top of his hat. All right. Yeah, you got this kind of like this little jelly <laughs> fish here that's kind of hanging on the top of your hat right now. Oh, so. It's kind of cute in a way. Oh, oh, that was an interesting experience. Although to prevent this guy from getting away, I don't think I'm going to stick my head back in there, especially considering that this is sewer water. True. <laughs> Uh, Granny. Would uh, like to fish again? <laughs> <laughs> Granny hesitates. She'll she she'll fish again, but she's wrapped up in a little blanket, and she's definitely fishing like 
further away from the edge. She she's she's backed up a little bit. All right. Let's see how you do. You cast the line. Give me a 1d100 roll. All right, a 49. Uh, you get the slightest nibble at the end of your line. Go ahead and give me a check. Mm-hmm. All right, as you reel in a fish very familiar, as you have seen two of them, placed upon Cobb's fingers. A drain crawler pleco is at the end of your line. Oh, well... This is much better to see than whatever I was I caught earlier. And she'll take, she'll actually take the Dre Water Pleco and put it on her thumb and give Pete a thumbs up with it. <laughs> Pete give the, gives a thumbs up back. <laughs> okay. Pete looks at his, at his bare thumb and be like, well, nah, I got to catch one of those. <laughs> you got to collect them all. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say we make a game out of it by just sticking them to Cobb, but I think if we each have one, then we'll be we'll be like little little thumb plico club. Uh, Brandon, you will now take note now that um, <laughs> now that Cajun Pete is left over to check on Granny. Uh, you are now in the darkness. You've seen oh. the light. Walk away. Whoops. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, do you guys like the dark? I was born in the darkness. <laughs> I do oh. enjoy it. Oh, I'm darkness. so sorry, little bud. Uh, it's okay. I I can make lights if you guys need it. Unless you like the dark, because some people like the dark. We leave it to you, Brandon. Oh. Okay, look at what my hands can do. <laughs> All right, so you, uh, let me see here. Oh, that is just something delightful. Okay, so what I need from you, Brandon, let me get this real quick. I'll make sure we've got this. We'll do some flickering lights. All right, go ahead and place, uh, go ahead and ping where you would like these lights to be. You get four of them. Oh, okay. Let's See, do one right there. All right. I'm gonna. He do. like spins his arms all crazy. Oh. So you see, Grandpa, one day I was pretending that I had stars for hands because I don't really have hands. And and then it happened. Maybe one there too. Maybe one right here. Okay, light right over here. Mm hmm. Oh, you um, all full of surprises. <laughs> And then, uh, I guess one up here in case someone goes here. All right, there you are. The four dancing lights have been placed, and they're kind of flicking, flickering around in the sewer right now. Okay. It's cool when you pretend things and then they actually happen. Um, I think that's all I can do, right? Yep, that's, uh, that is your, uh, that you can generate four lights. And you are still able to fish. Oh, okay. I guess I'll fish then. Okay, give me a 1d100 roll, please. A 52. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me a fishing check. Okay. And oh. uh, as you... <laughs> Oh no, 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 so, no! As you, as you go to cast your rod... Um, the rod, like you toss your rod out into the water. <gasps> oh. It's just like, oh. it's just kind of, it's just, just, just kind of hanging around there right now, kind of floating on the water right now. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Grandpa, what are we going to do? C Cajun, oh. Cajun man. I, I, I threw my stick in the water and now I can't fish anymore. Oh, I, I I can come get it if you need. Oh, thank you so much. I don't know what I'd do without my fishing pole. I guess I could fish with my feet. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, Cajun Pete, would you like to go and grab it now? Yeah. Smile. Just gonna move back on over here, possibly leaving Granny in the dark. <laughs> Granny waddles with you. 
<laughs> she, she, she's returning back to the group. All, Still burritoed. All, all you hear from the darkness is... <laughs> and it's literally the wet footsteps of Granny. Slopping, <laughs> flopping on the, on the ground. Cajun Pete takes off his hat with a jelly on it and puts it on Brandon's head and then jumps into the water to grab the fishing pole. <laughs> all right. As you dive into the water, uh, you'll lift up. Uh, and you are easily able to grab the fishing pole, bringing it back. There we go. There no, you go, little bud. No will. Thank effect. you so much. Do you think this hat makes me look like a grown up? I think it very much makes you look. Cajun Pete looks down at the hat with the jellyfish on top of it. The, the 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 bucket hat with the jellyfish placed on top of it. I think it very much makes you look grown up. Brandon's smiling really big and self satisfied. All right, so, um, okay, so next is, it is now a brand new hour. Ooh. Now, keep in mind, uh, you guys really can't tell what time it is <laughs> in the sewer because you are technically underground. So... It is up to you whether, and I'll, I'll I'll let you know when you guys start feeling a little bit tired as well. But just just something to something spicy, something to keep in mind. Hmm. So next up, uh, Esmer, what would you like to do? Um, I think he'll try and move to a new spot. Okay. See if that might change it up a little bit. Yeah. Like over here. Okay. See what this yields. And he'll look. Plop his magnet. Looking for some, some good junk. All right. Give me a 1D100 roll. Okay. All right. Something he's definitely hooked up on the magnet. Give me another 1D100 roll, please. 42. Hmm. Excuse me? Hmm. Excuse me? <laughs> it's not elf underwear again, is it? No. <laughs> Is it my cup? No. <laughs> I need a moment. Let's see. <laughs> That's uh -oh. never good. Uh, Spooky. Hmm. Well. Yeah, just give me one second. I need to. I need to think about this. Hmm. Is this the inciting incident that takes us out of fishing and into full t full blown adventuring? <laughs> Maybe. All right. So, um, <laughs> okay, we'll we'll uh, we'll do that. So, so you catch something on the line, hmm. and it's something heavy. <laughs> oh. oh. Hmm. And it starts pulling back a little bit. <laughs> this is odd. Hmm. Do I need to make any checks or anything? Um, you know what? Go ahead and give me a strength check. Oh, no. All right. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> oh my God, this is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, this is where our innocent fishing adventure gets a little dark. Uh, you uh -oh. pull mm -hmm. up a bloated corpse from the water. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <okay>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh I stuck my head in that wall. I'm going to be ill. He walks over to like the oh, area where the, the eel was thrown and just kind of <laughs> leans over. He just starts going. <laughs> oh. Granny Magnus. looks at that and realizes that could have been her five minutes ago. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Um, Esmer wants to check for metal on him. Like, sure. What, what, what are attached? <laughs> sure. To magnet? Yeah, yeah, check absolutely. Metal. Absol All right. So as you're looking, <laughs> oh my god, as you're looking around trying to see what exactly how you hooked up, um, you'll see what it's attached to. Um, it is attached to this iron chain that was wrapped around uh, the bloated corpse neck, mm. and. On the edge, uh, around it, is a badge 
that was on on his on his body on 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 the uh, iron necklace, and oh. you recognize it as a city ordained dredger, as you have on your <laughs> person as well. Oh no! <laughs> hmm. Esmer like stares very far away for like ten seconds. <laughs> Uh, Esma, I think we should uh, bet um, Who it's somewhere the else. <laughs> she, she, well, Granny Cash, well, like purposely well, gets in front of Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I should see if if there's a name in case anybody's gone missing. He'll look for a name. Is there a name on on the badge? Maybe? There isn't a name on the the badge, but you do remember hearing about the the previous dredger uh, apparently just skipping town because he just went up and mm. vanished, which is why they were looking for more dredgers. Granny, what's going on? Why did they pull oh, out of the water? Don, Brandon, come with me. Come with me. He's gonna, he's gonna push now. it into the water. He's he's gonna gonna <laughs> Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> so it's a heavy rant, so you're just kind of. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you just kind of watch as the corpse slowly drops into the water, and the figure just eventually <laughs> disappears. Did you just. Did you. Well. Esma. <laughs> hmm? Did you push it back into the water? Uh, did I push what back in? Why? Did, uh, Oh, do, do Esma, not... I wanted to put my head back in there. Why'd you put the body back? D no, there was no body. There think, was no body. You think that was... <laughs> she, she, she protectively, like, is trying to make Brandon turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Covers where ears would be on Brandon. <laughs> I, I think we should just probably forget about what we saw here. Gee, well, what did we see? Okay, well, just uh, just to check, did you take the me the metal off of him? Asmir is just staring. He's like, he doesn't hear you. <laughs> you don't. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't right, think what? we should have reported oh. that? Well, if, yeah. could could cause issue <laughs> later if anybody else finds it. Did you take the what you fished him up with off of it? Oh. Uh, no, I didn't. I, I, I admit I asked, acted a bit hastily uh, to prevent um, any miss sightings. He's kind of looking over at Brandon. But <laughs> I, I will report what I found uh, when I turn in my dredging for the day. All right. You, you got to get your story straight, though, because pulling up, pull, pulling that up and then pushing it back seems like they might, they might do something about that. Well, feign, I could... feign, feign shock. You pulled up the body. You, you, you dropped your magnet. It came loose. Why? Oh, tool. no. <laughs> Wait, they pulled up a body, Grandma? Oh, Brandon. Uh, what kind of a body? Uh, granted, Brand, granted, granted, Brandon's a grown-up. Gotta learn sooner or later. I I am unsure if I agree with learning of that and having to witness uh, something so horrible. I I apologize to everyone. It was not my intent. We should get out of here. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I am inclined to agree. Can discuss it later if if need be, and t take your time. Is this a graveyard swamp? I mean, sewer. It's not supposed to be. I don't think that was supposed to be here. Oh. I would have preferred to have reported it to the authorities, but here we are. I think I agree with Cobb. I think fishing is over for the day. I am inclined to agree. The vibe is all. I apologize. Grab my, I grab my pot with the big <laughs> fish I uh, I caught <laughs> earlier in the day. I, uh, well, Granny, my oh head's boy, I can't feeling wait to a little this funny. Sewer with no issue. Are you okay? <laughs> just walk Brandon. on out of here. It just my head's starting to feel a little numb and slippery. 
Oh, oh shoot. Wait, I, I, I grabbed the hat off of Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon rubs his head and kind of pushes the pedals back. Oh, okay. I think it's better now. Oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. Cajun Pete puts the hat on jellyfish and all. <laughs> Watch your step. All right. You head on over to the closed gate. And let me know what you do. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I mean, Esmer will reach up and try and open the door. <laughs> you will realize the gate oh. is locked. It's locked. Must be uh, some kind of automated system. But it was open when I arrived. Well, that was we, a couple hours ago, though. We're down was. here too long. Hmm. Lock. You mean we're stuck in here? I mean, when... I mean, the dredger was able to leave. Is so there another I, exit, perhaps? And there was a door back this way. Well, now, we hold on. Well, let's check out that door first. I'm curious. I, I th This this area's uh, interesting to me. I want to see more of it. Oh, very good. There is a way to go, but I wouldn't want to get lost. This door is locked. <gasps> well We're done. Trapped. All right. So we're gonna die down here. No, no, oh, no, no, we're good. I reach into my pack and pull up my thieves' tools. It's going uh, to be okay, Brendan. Is that a is that sleight of hand? Uh, that, that was just thie thieves' tools. You just use oh, it's it just a thieves' tools. You check. just do okay. a tools check. Yeah, I've been playing too much Baldur's Gate. No, it's all good. Thieves, where the heck are they? Any action? I could just click them off my character sheet, right, and it should work. Uh, inform Tomato that you guys found the corpse of the previous dredger. He just <laughs> lamoud. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, so when you go to your tools, your thieves tools, you just uh, click it and you just do a check. Oh, there we go. Oh, also it wasn't equipped, so I'll just equip. Okay, there we go. That's not bad. Okay, so you uh, kind of like work with the lock a little bit. I mean, this door itself is this sort of makeshift in nature, and you'll sort of... There we go. You enter into uh, what appears to have been someone's abode once upon a time. Oh, good. If we can't make our way out, we could at least stay here for the night. The sewer yes. people. <laughs> Lived in. Can, Ooh, can I, like... Do a check to see how recently maybe like this might have been used. Is there dust? Oh slash yeah, go ahead and do embers? an investigation check. Yeah. The heck is. <gasps> All right. Um, with a simple look over, um, looks like this area hasn't been used at least a week's time. I think this might be a church. Indeed, you seem you, you seem to have walked into a, a shrine of some sort. Um, everything here seems to be old and dated, but uh, off over into the back here, uh, you will see a statue uh, that seems to be in pristine fashion. No, oh. I see something I... under the table. You kind of look underneath the pew, and there you will see a uh, a, a chest of some sort. Could find Brandon. Love that statue to be found down here in the middle of the sewer. Hmm. Treasure. What you got in there, the Brandon? Sewer? I found a chest under here. Maybe we could all be trillion no billionaires. He kind of like puts his to arms find out oh, and tries to pull it out. Okay. I can buy a lot of scrimp with that. So as you're, yeah, you're, you're kind of like pulling. Uh, the chest out a little bit, and uh, it's it's got some weight to it. But you're able to you're able to get it out from underneath this pew. Should well, we open it? 
Hmm. We could take a look. I don't see why not. Think of all the ice cream we could buy. <laughs> Give it a try, Brandon. Oh, oh, okay. I guess he starts trying to open up the the lid. Of course. So um, you go to lift up the. You go ahead and lift up the the lid. Uh, you're able to do so uh, with with some 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 ease. Uh, give me one quick second. Mm -hmm. Inside is another dredger corpse. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. god. They're everywhere. <laughs> Uh, no. So inside, you will find a um, a a, a a magnet of sorts, a magical magnet. <laughs> For a oh no! <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, also, give me a one d twenty roll, please. Okay, uh, and uh, nine gold pieces. Wow. Ooh. The, There's a horseshoe in here. <laughs> the <laughs> magnet, Esmer, you recognize it, um, is a uncommon magical dredging magnet. Ooh. Ooh. It allows you uh, to expand the roll uh, from 30 to... A hun uh, yeah, it's 30 to 100. <laughs> or sorry, not 30 to 100. I'm sorry. It's a... Uh, hold on one second. Do, 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 seven, which means. Uh, oh, sorry, I have to check one thing. Also, I just I just noticed an error, so I have to make sure it gets changed today. Uh, before I send it off to, because we just we just approved the 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 print today, and I was like, oh, now I have to I have to I have to back up on that. So let's see mm -hmm. here. Uh, ba ba ba. Give me one quick second. Get some improved tools of the trade there, as so you'll be able to put that other dredger in his place. Oh, oh well, oh, certainly. Right. Uh, seems more effective. Hmm. Is this some sort of church of dredgery? <laughs> church of dredgery. <laughs> uh, so... This woman must be the queen of all the dredgers. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, so your fishing table rolls with a result of 36 through 80. Uh, while you are using this magnet, uh, that range increases to 31 through 80. Hmm. Do you guys know what it is? Is it not a horseshoe? It looks it's like a... It's a dredging magnet. Yeah, I guess. Oh. An improved so piece that I could... Potentially add to my dredging tool. If if no one wanted anything else to do with it. Oh, I'm looking for union work here. Apparently you dredges don't got a good union, so it's all <laughs> yours. <laughs> I don't think I could carry something that large around. Yeah, looks pretty heavy. If you want it, you should definitely take it. Well, thank you. Yeah. I won't take any of the gold that's there. Yeah, Esmer will try and pick up the magnet. and I mean, if he can, just swap it. I don't know how interchangeable these parts are. but Yeah, so... One moment. Kaba, I noticed you were admiring the statue of the Queen of the Dredges. I'm thinking this is a key to an underground subterranean civilization. <laughs> I... Possibly of dredges. Ooh. I admire your imagination, Cobb. Uh, da, 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 da,
Sorry, I'm trying to get this all organized. So, so if you take if you take there. a close if you take a close look, oh like, there we go. You can, you can see that her hands are like, are very very strong for being able to lift <laughs> out such such <laughs> heavy heavy stuff. things. Uh, yeah. So mm. to um, answer your question, the uncommon. So yeah, all you have to do is just switch out the magnet, mm. and it doesn't even take up a uh, a two minute slot. So you're good to go. Perfect. All right, so uh, this will be uh, the uncommon version. So now, uh, when you make a fishing table roll while using the dredge technique, you're also able to hook uh, junk at a low result. The bonus depends on the rarity of the item. So this would be uh, a uh, between a 31 and a 35, in addition to your normal, or sorry, a 31, yeah, 31 to 35. Okay. So there you go. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, you with that in 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 place, you were able to uh, switch out the bag disc pretty easily. Excellent. Cajun Dread. Pete's just over here mumbling made up lore about this statue <laughs> being a being the queen of all dredgers. <laughs> what are you? Uh, what are you kind of like do doing with the statue? looking at it just sort of like gesturing to different parts of it and saying like oh the, like the reason she's got those coils around her arm is to is a, a symbolism of her her massive muscles being able to pull up such such heavy things and the diadem around her head is uh is it was made of things that she dredged up so as you're you're kind of like talking about this you kind of begin to watch as this thing gives off a uh a faint glow will sort of begin to form around the statue. You might not even be looking at it anymore, and you just kind of see the more you're discussing it, the statue kind of gives this little this little glow kind of surrounding it right now. I think we may be getting blessed by the Dredger Queen. Esmer takes a knee. Oh, blessed Dredger Your Queen. Your words imbue it with power. And... Something is happening. And with taking a knee and taking a prayer to the statue uh you <laughs> esper will now gain its benefit so oh. so instant death <laughs> <laughs> sweet release <laughs> uh so you more crazy dredger trying to kill me <laughs> well all right so ba -ba -ba, let me see do, 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 do. Okay. Esmer, you yes. will now acquire one of the following techniques, and it's up to you which technique you would like to learn. Oh. Uh, relaxed observation. Uh, 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 sprite bob. Or fine tuning. Hmm. Without knowing what any of them do, I will say, I'll yeah. say relaxed observation. Okay. And yeah, let's let's keep it let's keep it hidden. So relaxed oh. observation. You will learn the relaxed observation technique three times per long rest. You will be a novice at this technique. Uh, when you've hooked a fish and you've expended this technique, you immediately learn what fish you've hooked, along with the catch DC, how many successful fishing checks you need and how many times you're allowed to fail a fishing check and still be able to catch the fish. In addition, you may gain a bonus to your uh, first fishing check this encounter, depending on your level in this technique. So since you are a novice in this, you just kind of gain the information of the fish, but as you continue to train into it, you will gain uh, bonuses to your first fishing check made when trying to catch the fish. Mm. And you can do that three <laughs> times per long rest. Do I learn about junk in the same manner <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> no and the reason why is because there is no check to reel in junk uh, you just kind of just reel it and then learn about it very true all right yeah. noted yeah. so i will go ahead and give you relaxed observation as the technique okay copy and paste this boom and oh i'll have to i'll have to copy and paste it later but uh yes yeah, so you will learn that technique and with that uh with the magic of the statue will sort of sort of slowly like fade away from the statue oh no oh 
Oh, Esma, you've been blessed. I feel her blessing within me. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Thus is the power of a dredger. <laughs> <laughs> what a curious place we've stumbled into. It's Lucas. surprisingly cozy, considering we're in a sewer, but... You can theorize that someone was probably living here uh, some, t uh, some time ago. And with the magical magnet that was stowed away within that chest, this may have even belonged to the previous dredger. Oops. Huh. Well. Well, he doesn't need it anymore, right? It's fine. <laughs> it's not like we're stealing. <laughs> it's still lawful good. It's fine. I didn't push him back into the water. Oh, shrug. <laughs> All right, what would you guys like to do now? Well, seems like this is a dead... I could try to unlock the door, but... If I can't do it, we'll be down here for a while. Are there Are any other cold? doors? Oh, honey. I'm <laughs> fine. I just oh, realized the cob is still walking around with, like, fish <laughs> all over him. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Just one arm that. covered in fish. There's these, I don't know if they're sleeping bags. It kind of rustles it around. Yeah, but it are, looks pretty warm. Yep, they are, uh, they are uh, a couple of sleeping bags. That's cozy looking, but... That, uh, wait, let me make sure there's no rats inside. He like sticks his head into the blanket. Uh, it's a very comfortable blanket as you then watch the light fade away from oh. you. You suddenly... Oh, shit. My bad, my bad. You kind of stick your head in there. It feels nice and comfortable. Then as you stick your head out, it's still dark. So you're wondering what exactly happened there. <laughs> I saw. Does anyone else want, the to want a torch? There's no rats in this one. That's I won't meander far. We could get this campfire I, uh, going. I, I take out a second torch, light it up, and hand it to Esmer. Oh. Well, Three right. torches in the party. L little Brandon. I didn't get the chance to thank for save. I saw your vines. My little hero. And she'll pat Brandon on the head. He smiles really big. Looks very... Uh, happy that he was helpful. <laughs> I saw a pendant over there. I wanted to take a look at the pendant. I apologize if it gets dark. I'll be right back. <sighs> hmm. Oh, good. There's more light. You go. Uh, you uh, pick up the pan. Uh, you're, are you picking up the pendant, or what are you doing? Yes. Yep. Picking it up and looking at it. Uh, it seems to be some like it kind of has this sort of like anchor symbol across on the pendant. Um, but kind of looking at it, it doesn't really seem to have too much value, if any at all. <laughs> the the wheels in Cajun's Pete, uh, Cajun Pete's head begin to turn. His eyes blink individually, looking at the pendant, looking at the statue, looking at the pendant, looking at the statue. <laughs> oh, this must be a symbol of the dredging god. <laughs> they just, uh, and, and, and I'm gonna pick up the pendant and and uh, and put it on. Okay. Oh. Do you adorn the pendant around your neck? I do, yes. Good little memento of our time here. <laughs> uh, I always want to remember what happened here today. Yeah, <laughs> never forget what happened in the sewers on the 7th of Rubalite. Should we look for more doors? Or do you want to try the exit? Uh... I mean, there's like, there's, I see like knapsacks around here. We could just like loot the place and go. I think we live here now. <laughs> I most certainly I think, I th do not I, live here. I think we should get out of here. I could use a meal. I'm not sure if I'd want to eat any of the fish that we've fished up here. Not even this one. He holds up the... the fishy caught like our last session that's like in <laughs> face first in the pot probably not i'd All imagine right. that there's uh some adverse effects from the sewer water i'm gonna pick the lock of the door 
Uh-oh. Oh, uh, 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 oh no. Uh, uh, guys, mm. I have some bad news. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Bad news. <laughs> Nap. So I need you to give me a 1d20 roll. If you get roll a 9 <laughs> or lower, your thief stools are no more. <laughs> oh my god. 9 or lower. Ooh. Man. Okay, Imagine was... being locked up in these sewers. <laughs> <laughs> Desperately trying to break the door down. Oh my god, what an insane end to an adventure. <laughs> All right, you are free to make another check. Okay, that was really close. I thought they were going to break. I'm going to try it again, pro probably for the best that we get out of here as soon as possible. Okay. Um, you kind of like begin moving around with the mechanism a little bit, and uh, you were able to open the gate back up. Oh, All right. Good, oh. good job, Mr. Pete. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's no problem at all. Had to do a lot of this when I was running with the hunting groups. I see. You had a hunting group. Yeah, I was real bad at hunting. I, that's why my name's Cajun Pete. I got trapped in all the cages. Oh. Huh. All right. Do you guys leave the sewers? Yes, I don't rather see a reason to stick around. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, uh, that is where we will wrap up today's session, because I do have to, um, uh -oh. make, I do have to make a couple of changes to the book and get it sent to the publisher. Mm. Um, mainly the dredger, dredging magnet still using the old, um, the old rolling system of how we were doing fishing. And I have to readjust that to the new fishing and get that over to the publisher, so that way we are printing up something that makes sense and not, yeah, so it's... Publishing books are fun. You're always finding something that could have been changed or could have been fixed or could have been moving forward. So it's a uh, it's a fun check, time. Check yours to, when when it gets there to see if you have yeah. the rare printing error. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. 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 Uh, <laughs> selling Y Slay Dragons when you could be fishing beta version old dredging rules. Yeah. Rare <laughs> one yeah. Un underscore, <laughs> under underscore final one. Yeah. Worth, worth a thousand thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Uh well guys, thank you so much. Did you have fun today? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. God, I up. enjoyed almost dying. What a what a story. <laughs> what a story. Okay, uh, I will see you guys again. Thank you again for playing, and I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Yeah, Sweet. thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. <laughs>